Hello, welcome back all you foodies. Today we're visiting Grandma's Barbecue. If you love street eats, you love food in general, who doesn't? Who sits down at a table and says, oh God, not again, I'm gonna eat. Definitely subscribe to the channel. There's plenty of street eats and plenty of food coming at you. This is the places where it's at. I don't really know how many of the people here are here for the food truck, but this is it. Let's, let's take a look down the side, Grandma's Barbecue. Man, I was looking at videos of this on Instagram. I knew I had to try this place. Grandma's Barbecue. There's no better cooking than Grandma's. I have high hopes. High hopes. All right, let's check out the menu. As you know, we're gonna order almost everything and then we'll taste it. Combo with two sides. And fish. fish. The only thing we couldn't try here is the beef brisket. They're out of stock. But we got everything else. One of each. One, two, three, four. We got the we got an order of chicken wings with garlic parmesan sauce. And the chicken tenders with honey mustard. I think the honey mustard comes on the side. Love us. Oh, and also these. Forgot about these. Cream cheese, red velvet, and lemon. We got one of each, too. All right, we're inside Grandma's Barbecue. Behind the scenes. All right, guys, as I said, we're behind the scenes. This food truck here. This is a tight space. This is D. He's the owner of the food truck. As you can Welcome see, he's Grandma's working here. There is no cooking like Grandma's kitchen. 100%. Yes, sir. <laughs> 100%. Got a little chicken tenders going on. Wow. We're going to take some chicken tenders. Got my fish fries. I'm about to drop some fish and shrimp in there in a second. Okay. So all my grandmother's recipe is her seasons, her sauces. All her sauces, too? All her everything. seasons, her sauces. Everything wow. is hers. I'm just the man on the scene serving the pork. <laughs> Yes, sir. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. And how long have you guys... Uh... We've been in business since 2009, so about 14 and a half years, almost 15 now. We started wow. in 2009, yes. 2009. This is my grandmother's second truck. This is my first, and I'm actually building my second truck as we speak now. No way, that's I've awesome. I've got a 30-foot trailer that we're working on now. <laughs> uh, twice as big as this. Wow. Twice as big equipment, everything yeah. is just bigger. Okay, we're so you're just recipes. waiting on the truck then, basically. Basically, yeah. 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 You got all the recipes and everything. Yes, I got everything. It's awesome. This is where you keep that secret mac and cheese then. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Look at this. So you're the grandson. This is your. I'm the grandson. Right? This is uh, one of the employees. Oh, okay. He's a grandson by association. Yes, Mustard drizzle. Yes, sir. That's a barbecue chicken. Oh, wow, look at this. Barbecue chicken. Sliced bread, baked beans, mac and cheese. Nothing better. And these cakes, are they made by a family They're member? Homemade, yes. They're all made by uh, family? All made by family. My cousin makes these. Uh, she's 28, 29, one of those two. Right. The first one is uh, lemon pound cake, uh -huh. Uh, lemon this pound cake. Red velvet with the nuts on the top. Red velvet, okay. Yes, sir. And the other is one that is uh, peanuts, almonds, or peanuts, is this a mixture? Uh, pecans. Peanuts, pecans. Yes. Oh. And this one is cream cheese pound cake. Both the lemon and the cream cheese are the pound cakes. The ice is what makes the difference. Okay. Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. And they're all awesome. pound cakes. Let's take a look at this one. one. In the yeah, that's the lemon. Uh, yeah, that looks delicious. And they're all homemade. So you open up at 11, right? Yes, every day we're open at 11 to so you, 2 o'clock normally. 
most of the time. So sometimes it goes until three, some certain locations. That okay. We go to. But what time do you start your day? Oh, Even I start though you my open day about seven thirty, eight o'clock in the morning. Wow, that's yeah. the time you start smoking the chicken. Yes, yeah. Or the, the ribs. ribs, the chicken. Yeah, the pulled pork and the brisket is cooked overnight for about ten hours. Wow. So you do that on site. site or on the truck? On site. On site. Yeah. Wow. Twelve hours. Sometimes it's cooked at our uh, shop at our restaurant. Oh, oh, you have a restaurant too. I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to come back to the brisket. Yes, sir. I have to do a little. A I little actually have some smoking now. It's just not quite all the way done. Okay. And what is the best place where the viewers can follow you for uh, Instagram like a schedule? And Facebook, yes. Instagram, Instagram and, and Facebook? Facebook. We post every day where we are. Instagram and Facebook. Okay. We post for lunch or we post dinner where we are at either location. Okay. I'm going to post the links in the description. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, everybody can view it. I'll link everything on Instagram as well. It is amazing seeing them work. Master, been doing this over a decade, right? Yes, sir, over a decade. Wow. And we're still growing and going. Amazing, yeah. Definitely. Oh, here are the chicken wings. The chicken wing in Christ I saw has going up. Yes. Right? The raw yes, chicken wings? Yes, Is it significantly or? Uh, they usually go about, usually the case used to be 70, 80 bucks now, it's like 160. 170. That's double the price. Yes, yeah, double the price. Sometimes 180. Wow. Sometimes. Double the price. Yeah. Very expensive. Wow. Yeah. Everything. The pork just went up. The beef just went up. Everything. Only thing still the same is the chicken. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, you hear that, guys? If you see a lot of these uh, local businesses moving up the prices a little bit, that's the reason. You just got to keep supporting. Always fresh. See these fish fried the fresh. Fish and combo, Shrimp fried green, fresh. Mac and, mac and cheese, collard greens. Everything's cooked fresh. Fresh every day. Fresh is the way. <laughs> do you also do any kind of special like food truck events? Yes, we go around to the uh, all, basically all the cities between all the Kissimmee and Sanford and all the cities in between. Okay. Like this past Saturday we were at uh, College Park Jazz Festival. Jazz yeah, Festival. From five till eleven. So. I'm very tired. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got off Saturday, Long Sunday day. morning at 12 o'clock, and then I was right back at the restaurant cooking uh, meat wow. for this week for the day, really. Wow, okay. And I'm here at work again today. Long days. Never ending day. Yeah. Waiting on the wings. Everything's cooked fresh. Yeah, when it's fresh. You're at McDonald's, you can complain. <laughs> oh, you got it smoking right here? How long is it going to take? A few hours? Here we go. Here's the brisket, the smoker in the back. Wow, that's tender, man. Wow, thank you. Amazing. Smoker right in the back. Yep. Fully equipped. Yes, we are. These are the uh, the, sauces. the sauces, right? Uh, garlic parmesan, honey mustard, barbecue, and bubble. You heard that? All the sauces and the seasoning right here. This goes on the. I think it goes on. Well, I saw him put it on the fries, but it might go on more stuff. Here we go. All grandma's recipes. Mouth is watering. And my wife and daughter are waiting outside. I can't, can't even believe what they're thinking right now. Oh, I can't wait. Look at this. Not too much effort. Let me take off my glasses and take a look at this. It looks incredibly moist. And smoking. I don't know if you can see it through the camera. But it's smoking. Can you hit this with barbecue sauce on yes, top? Sir, we do. 
Is that grandma's recipe too? Grandma's homemade recipe. It's and awesome. The barbecue sauce is homemade. It's sweet, tangy, and spicy all in one. Man. I wonder if I had the wrong grandma. <laughs> Amazing. Man, that's the brisket. Incredible. It's gonna be brisket. It's not regular brisket, it's corned beef. Brisket. Corn beef that's brisket. what makes the difference on it. Wow. Bear the man corn beef. Corn beef brisket. Yes. Brisket. Amazing. Can't wait to try it. So grandma was here though in the beginning? Yeah, or? she was here. She was here in the beginning. She passed away uh, about two years ago. Oh damn. Sorry to hear that. Sad sad to hear, but her legacy still moves on. I was just saying. Combo mac and cheese and collard greens. Oh man, this is mouth watering. Look at these ribs. <laughs> what was your name? Hope. Sure, Hope. Hope? Hope, like Hope County. Hope County. Oh, oh Hope. Hope. Yeah, Pete, okay. Pete, okay. All right. I'm Leo. Good to meet you, man. All right. Here we go. This is Chef Hope. How long you been working here? I've been here for a lot of time, probably like overnight three years. Three years. Right. You're a master yeah. chef now. Yeah, I'm a master chef. <laughs> master chef like, folk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Belair School, yeah? Down here in Florida? It's at Harvest. Harvestville. Okay. Not sure. <laughs> but wow, that's awesome, man. All right, before we start, I just wanted to say thank you to Dee and Chef Pope. Very hospital, super nice. Really fast and efficient. They have everything like within arm's reach. They have a smoker right in the truck. Everything smoked right in the truck overnight. As you heard, amazing. Can't wait to try everything. We have a lot of food to get through. Let me show you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, let me show you. This is the full spread. Enclosed still. One, two, three four five six this small one at the top I believe is the brisket sandwich which we happened to get in just in time so good thing we were able to get it so we definitely got one of everything this I believe are the cakes the three cakes homemade homemade it's all homemade it's all family run family cooked all of grandma's recipes sadly and I hate to say this passed away two years ago as you heard these the mention but her recipes her cooking still lives on I can't wait to try all this food it's so my mouth is watering in there crazy I have to be keep going like mm. you know just swallowing saliva when you want to actually eat <laughs> but now's the time this is actually an employee it's kind of like an employee event but they also do walk-ups I don't know if, if the business is like covering the food or anything like that, but they're here basically providing food to the, I believe this is the Costco offices, which is pretty cool. It's nice. Nice that we're here. We got lucky. They're not usually open on Mondays. I saw the post yesterday on Instagram and I said, you know, I told my wife, we got to go there tomorrow. All right, let's eat. Let me go through each box first. Let me show you guys everything. Wow, chicken tenders. They drizzle the honey mustard on there. And that's grandma's recipe. This is grandma's honey mustard. Look at this. Mac and cheese and the fries. Incredible. Looks good. Everything's homemade. Everything's made fresh to order as well. Don't complain about those weights. Oh my God. These are those smoked ribs. Amazing. You smoke ribs over a couple slices of bread, baked beans, mac and cheese, all made fresh daily. Let's see what's in this box right here. Oh, man. It's amazing, the sunlight here. These are the, this is the smoked chicken, it's a smoked chicken thigh. 
and chicken leg. Beans. And that mac and cheese. That mac and cheese, I'm glad I got a bunch. Well, most of these orders with that mac and cheese, every time I kept looking at them scoop it up, I wanted to take the whole tray. <laughs> I believe this is just a side of collard greens. But this looks good. What's in here? Cold pork, I think? We'll taste it. We'll figure it out. I never had collard greens in my life. This is my first time. So this is going to set the bar for, for every other collard green I ever have in my life. Just, just you know, the next spot, you know, you're going to be judged by grandma's cooking. Wow. This is the garlic parmesan wings. All of these sauces are grandma's recipe. Baked beans and mac and cheese. But look at this. Let's take a look at what's in here. The pulled pork sandwich. Look at this. Get some sunlight in there. Amazing. Beans, collard greens. Yeah, I see that. I think it's pork in there, maybe. We'll taste it. Let's see what it is. Let's take a look at this one here. Wow. This is a fried fish. Fried shrimp. Collard greens. Mac and cheese. Get some sunlight in this. They fried this fresh. Incredible. Incredible. Can't wait to dig into all of this. Look at this. Move this over a bit. The brisket sandwich. With the barbecue sauce. Homemade barbecue sauce. Grandma's recipe. This looks delicious. So moist. Next up is the cakes. Let's see which is which here. I actually don't know. One of them is cream cheese. One of them is leaven. We're going to find out once we taste them. Looks really good though. Let's see this next one. Might look similar. I'm thinking looks good this one looks a little bit lighter the icing looks a little bit lighter so this one might be the the cream cheese icing we'll find out find out once we taste it all right this one says red up on here so this is the red velvet wow and that is bright red looks delicious all right we're starting off here with the fried fish and shrimp with collard greens and the mac and cheese you get a piece here. I feel like this is finger food <laughs> and I'm uh, using a fork here. Let me show you guys up close at this one. This is the fried shrimp. Looking at it, it looks like it has some kind of like a cornmeal kind of breading on it. Mm. Wow. It is cornmeal. And that shrimp is delicious. That's really good. I need another one. One more. Take a good look at it here. Show you the back side. Show you the tail. Wow, this is delicious. It's super crunchy. Mmm. Really delicious. Let's dig into the fish here. It's crunchy, hard to get a piece though. Get a piece here. I'm seeing now why they put the, the white toast underneath. They put the white bread underneath to absorb all of the flavor. So once you're done with it, you can still sort of enjoy it. Up close to this one fried fish I forgot to check what kind of fish it was but I think it was on the menu real tender super tender flaky it's like butter wow that fish just like melted in my mouth 
that fish fillet. Delicious. Amazing. This might be the best fried fish I ever had. Super tender. Everything gets more than three bites. Let me get a little piece of this bread here. The bread that's been soaked in the in the fish and the shrimp here. White piece of bread. Mm. Soft and moist. It does have some of that flavor. Not a fishy flavor, but it tastes like cornmeal in it. And butter. Definitely. That's good. All right, let's go up to the main event here. I never had this before. I've never eaten collard greens ever. First time. And take a look at them here. All angles here. Let's let's do a 360 on the fork here. Wow. It looks super moist. Let's see. That's really good. Can't even describe the flavor. Almost like spinach, I guess. Not really. It's like its own thing here. Wow. That is delicious. I, I like collard greens. First time seeing this. Collard greens. Too bad. Vegetables. Mm. Just tell you with something. I don't even know how it's made. Let's have one of these pieces of... There's some meat in here. Alright, take a look. This is the piece of meat in here. I'm not sure what kind of meat it is. Could be chicken. Could be pork. Let's taste it and then I'll know. Mm. My pork. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. So tender. And with the collard, it goes well with the collard green. I guess that's where it gets all of the flavor. From the pork. We saw it. Three bites. Three bites, but collard greens is good. My mind is telling me, get back to the fish. What are you doing? That's something new. Gotta have more. Gotta have more. Good. So then there's like butter. You need to get one of these. Piece of black. Delicious. They could do like a fish sandwich, I think. A fish sandwich or a po' boy maybe with this too. The shrimp. And it'll be delicious. Alright, let's try the mac and cheese. Look at this. Oh, almost lost it. Every time I kept seeing them scoop this out of the oven, it was hard to control myself in there, in the food truck. Mm. That's so cheesy. So cheesy. It's like the ratio is like 10 to 3. 10 cups of cheese, 1 cup of mac. That's delicious. I need more mac and cheese. Making that fresh every day. Man, they gotta be kidding us. This is delicious. This mac and cheese, everything is super delicious. Let me get another little piece of the mac. That top, I don't know if you can see it there. But it's nice and charred up, so it gives you a little crunch. Nice. I love that crunch on top. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. 
I don't even want to move on. But we got other stuff to try. Let's move on to the next dish. Up next, we got the pulled pork sandwich. Let me put my uh, fork away and grab this. Wow. Super moist. Dripping from the moisture. Mm. Oh. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. Mm. That you barely have to chew. It's like three bites and it's over. Amazing, delicious. Let me take a look at this. Wow, can't believe how tender it is. I'm in shock. Let's try the beans because I haven't had those. I had the collard beans, I had the collard greens, I didn't have the beans. Let's see how they do the beans here. You get a little of everything. I see like a chunk of meat, maybe it's like pork belly. It's a unique flavor. I wonder if it's cinnamon. It tastes a little bit like cinnamon. Mm. Wow. I believe it is, but don't quote me on it. It's a bit sweet, or maybe they use brown sugar. That's amazing. That's awesome. These baked beans, crazy. Well, I don't want to say baked beans. I don't, I'm not, I don't remember now. They're beans. Let's just leave it at that. But they're awesome. I believe they have cinnamon. I believe I'm tasting brown sugar. There's like a little... I might be wrong, though. I don't care if I'm wrong. They're delicious. I don't care if I'm right. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. This is really good. You heard it, guys. We all heard Starbucks after this. My assistant. <laughs> Wave to the camera. <laughs> I'm waving for her. <laughs> Ribs. Oh man. Let's get the backside without the sauce first. This looks. Look at this. Already falling off the bone on its own. I barely touched it. All I did was pick it up. These are also smoked. I don't know how many hours, several hours, it's done overnight. You get one bite in here. I need, I need a thumbnail. Read That's it. Good. Mm. Oh my God. Does it need any more sauce? It has a great dry rub on it. So moist and tender. So moist and tender. I don't even know what else to say. It's delicious. It has a unique, amazing flavor. And it's smoky too. Awesome. Mmm, yeah. That's a big chunk of meat. Oh my god. It's crazy. Grandma's recipes. Man. I told them inside. I told them earlier. I think I got the wrong grandma. Now I think I'm right. <laughs> oh my God. Super tender and juicy. Mmm. Mmm. barely have to bite into this minimal effort delicious everything's on point here let's move on to the next one but I'd eat this whole thing I eat the whole thing you don't even have to ask me 
if I would. All right, we got here the smoked chicken. Let's go with the leg. Again, let's do the backside without the barbecue. Wow. Mm. I like the dry rub they use. I shouldn't say like. I love the dry rub they use. Again, thunder, smoky. More than anything, you taste a lot of the smoke, which I love. All right, let's do the the barbecue sauce side. Even better, even better. Amazing. Mm, wow. The skin is nice and crispy too. I love that. I want a piece of this bread. And I want to show you guys why. And all those drippings. It's like a bread from the heavens right here. Look at that. Mm. Nice. Delicious. It's smoky too. Because it got all that flavor from the chicken. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. Alright. We got here the honey mustard chicken tenders. Grandma's chicken tender sauce. Let's try it. I didn't expect these to be this good. They said they make this fresh. And it tastes like it. And you can see the textures inside. Moist, crunchy. And that honey mustard. Mmm. On point. Forget about Chick-fil-A. You gotta come here. Grandma's barbecue. Let me try these fries though. Because they add their own. I wonder if this is the same dry rub. It's on the chicken and it's on the ribs too. I think it is the same flavor. Their own special dry rub. It's delicious. Let me get one more fry. Mmm. Awesome. Let me finish this chicken tender. I love it. Batter, crunchy. Very crunchy. But you get an eggy flavor in it. No complaint. Delicious, moist, crispy. That homemade honey mustard. Can't find it anywhere else. Grandma's barbecue. Alright, guys, check this out. Brisket sandwich. I'm glad they, they were able to get this in for me. Amazing. It looks really good. Let's, let's taste it. I saw him slice this off. Shred it. Shred it. Mm. Mm. Nice fatty piece. Super tender. Super smoky. Got some awesome brisket. And this is corned beef brisket, he said. That's what makes their brisket special and different from other places. Mmm. Mmm. So tender. So tender, man. I love it. Let's get some with more of the barbecue sauce. I tried it on its own also, a bite. But with the barbecue sauce, jumping up a level. It was level 999. It's going one more nine. Mm, mm. 
That was a little crispy end right there. Mmm. So tender. I taste a little chunks of fat in there too. Not a lot, but I love that. I believe him. He said the corned beef, which makes it special here. I've had brisket at other places. It's never tasted like this. Mm. I just want to sink in a in like a couch in a living room, a random living room, the closest one, closest living room. I want to sink into it and finish this off. I just want to stop this video right now. Oh. You find my best, my favorite. The ribs too. I like those burnt edges. Mm. Crispy, super moist. So smoky. Man, man, man. All right, let's move on. All right, this is the last savory dish that we got here. These are the wings. Are you a drumette person? Or a, I don't know what this is called, wingette? Let's go with the drum this time for now. Wow, look at that. Homemade garlic parmesan. Can't get this anywhere else. Wow, this is piping hot still. Whew, I almost burned myself. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. I feel like I'm turning into a bear. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, they growl louder, I guess. This is delicious. There's so much flavor. Can't even start to describe it. I'm seeing black pepper on here. Garlic. I'm sure there's Parmesan. Probably can't see it with my glasses. This is so tender and juicy. He fried that fresh. Man, this is delicious. It's still piping hot after going through everything. You see right here. <laughs> we went through everything. This is the last one, piping hot, super hot. It's burning my fingers right now. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for you, because I love you. <sighs> mm. My God. Amazing. Amazingly delicious. So many layers of flavor. You have to try this. Everything has been so delicious. Just want to clarify, I'm holding this for you. I'm burning my fingers for you. I'm eating it and tasting it for myself though. I'm being a little bit selfish. I'm, I'm gonna finish this off. Mm. Move on to dessert. You guys were waiting for it. Let's do it. Look at this red velvet. It's brighter than the sun. I don't know, is there, is there a planet that's red? It's brighter than that. Mars? Mars, you said? She said Mars. It's brighter than Mars. Elon Musk, he wants to go to Mars. He just needs to land right here. <laughs> That's it. He'll be able to start a little colony. All right. On the top, he said it was peanuts and pecans. Minced. Let's try it out. I, I, I don't know where to start. Where should I try it from? The, the back side or the front side? Front. The front? All right. We're going with the front here. Wow. I'm pushing into this. Moister than butter. This bite has everything right here. delicious it's so moist the nuts really balance this off the pecans and peanuts I believe he said I normally don't like buttercream you've probably seen it in another video and I've mentioned why because it's just butter and, and a bunch of sugar but this is a perfect amount you can take a look at this it's not heavy, it's really light on it. And it's just sweet enough. 
amazing. And the cake, the cake is super moist. Super moist. Melt, melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth. Man, I need another bite of this one. Even when I put my fork into it. Wow. Incredible. If I remember correctly, I believe he said his niece makes these. She needs her own bakery. She needs her own food truck. We need more. More, more than three from her. All right. No more bites. Because we got two more to taste. Pound cake. This one, I'm not sure which one it was. One is lemon. One is a cream cheese frosting. Let's try the cake by itself first. I'm curious. It looks moist. Cake, super moist. Some cakes, you could tell just by looking at it, it's gonna be as dry as sandpaper. Man, you could sand your walls with that cake. But this, I can tell it's gonna be moist. Let's see how, how good the flavor is. Moist. Pancake is amazing. I never had a pound cake like this. Let me finish chewing. I've been eating the wrong pound cake my whole life. This is the right one. I found it all these years. All I had to do was move to Florida to get it. Mmm. More. Let's try the icing. Good piece of the icing right there. Oh man. Oh man, that changes it. Changes it up. That's the cream cheese icing. It's delicious. Let me get I need another little piece right here. I'm sinking that one in. A little icing too. Wow. That icing, it's just enough. Just enough. As you know, I hate overly sweet desserts. This one's perfect. Perfect balance. I love it. I love this icing. I'd eat this icing on ice cream. Wow, well, I, need, I need a little little piece. I, I see that it's a little bit dense in the middle. Mm. That's where it is. That's the heart of it. That's some delicious... This is what? This is the cream cheese icing. Or cream cheese cake, they call it here. Really. Alright, let's try the last one. The last one should be the lemon one. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're trying the lemon the lemon cake oh my god take a look at that if the other two are any indication of how this is going to taste i'm going to have to throw in the towel here mm, that's the lemon one all right So moist, so perfectly sweet, nice lemon flavor. Man, I want to like try this in like 300 different flavors. <laughs> we had lemon, we had cream cheese, red velvet. I'm just going to think of all the different ways I could have this. It's delicious. I love it. I love everything here. Man, definitely. Huge recommendation from us. That's it for Grandma's Barbecue. We tried everything. Everything was delicious. Each one was like better than the next. And then at the end, like everything was amazing. What can I recommend? Definitely get the ribs. You know, get whatever you like. If you like, you eat ribs, get the ribs. You eat chicken, get the smoked chicken. You eat brisket, get the brisket. If you like chicken tenders, we're not going to make fun of you here because these chicken tenders are amazing. So get the chicken tenders. They're so good. Man. 
and get grandma's honey mustard and make sure to get wings too with grandma's garlic parmesan sauce grandma can do everything <laughs> she can do anything man everything's delicious here highly recommend that i'm gonna put their all their social media and everything in the description they're very hospitable you saw how everything happens behind the scenes everything's cooked fresh no complaints all right no complaints about the weight they make it fresh you know you gotta wait just like as if you went to grandma's house she's got to make it right if you enjoyed the video share it with friends and family it really helps us out we're out here doing everything on our own so it's a huge help all right guys till the next video don't forget to eat drink and be merry take care